We have news courtesy of Bloomberg. Bloomberg, Bloomberg, Bloomberg. Bloomberg have announced that Apple is to wind down electric car effort after a decade-long odyssey. Um, it says here, courtesy of Bloomberg, Apple is cancelling its decade-long effort to build an electric car, according to the people of knowledge of the matter, abandoning one of the most ambitious projects in the history of the company. Apple made a disclosure internally on Tuesday, surprising the nearly 2,000 employees working on the project, said the people who asked not to be identified. The decision was shared by Chief Operating Officer Jeff Williams and Kevin Lynch and a Vice President in charge of the effort, according to the people. So they spent quite a lot of time doing this. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's been 10 years in the making. Um, recently, they announced they were going to ramp it up a little bit. And I've got to be honest, as I spoke to Rodeo Brito earlier, I really was looking forward to seeing um, design-wise what it would look like conceptually, what they were proposing. Would it be like a car that had no front and no back end? It was just like a round blob. Would it be an SUV? Would it be a hatchback? Would it be a saloon? Like I was really curious to see what kind of car they would build um would it be autonomous um you know all these sort of things were kind of things i was kind of curious about like the interior design um you know all these type of things i would love to have seen um apple kind of you know lend their hand to and of course how it would kind of integrate with the apps or the products they already have um but obviously we're not going to see that anymore um and it continues here it says the two executives told staffers that the project will begin winding down and that many employees on the car team known as the special projects team will be shifted to the artificial intelligence division under the direction of john um, these employees will focus on generative ai projects and increasingly keep priority to the company so they're deciding to move mostly into ai um, i guess that makes a lot of sense considering what's going on but again selfishly i would have preferred to have seen the car apple car team also has several hundred hardware engineers and vehicle engineers and it's possible they'll be able to apply for jobs on other Apple teams. There'll be layoffs, but it's unclear how many. So some people are actually going to get fired. Wow, man, that's fucking, that's harsh, isn't it? They they're, they're ended the project. Instead of, you know, keeping most of the team and just, you know, spreading them across the company. No, they're going to get let go. Apple based in Cupertino, California, declined to comment. The move came as a relief to investors who sent Apple shares climbing on Tuesday after Bloomberg reported the news. Um, Elon Musk, the head of Tesla, also celebrated the move. He shared a post on X social media with a saluting emoji and a cigarette. The decision is ultimately a win, wind down the project as a bombshell for the company, ending a multi-billion dollar effort called Project Titan that would have vaulted Apple Apple into the whole new industry. The tech giant started working on a car around 2014, setting its sights on a fully autonomous electric vehicle with a lim limousine like interior and a voice guided navigation. That would have been so cool. Can you imagine how cool that would have been? A, limous a limousine like interior, voice guided navigation, fully autonomous electric car. Can you imagine what that would have looked like? That would have looked so fucking cool. But to be fair to them, um, like Elon Musk has said many, many a times, it's really difficult to produce and manufacture cars to a high level. It's really difficult to do. I think he says his famous quote is like, anybody can concept is hard to fucking produce or manufacture. I forgot what the concept, I know the quote, I fucked it, but it's somewhere along that kind of line. And one thing that I've kind of noticed about cars, especially in the last few years, I've been kind of, you know, checking out some channels here and there. The automobile industry is a bit fucked up. Like I remember checking out a video of this guy who was trying to buy himself like a Porsche um, RS, a GTRS three or something. One of the GTRS, right? One of those cars, the one that Brendan Shaw had, the one that the one that flipping Joe Rogan has, right? It's a Porsche that all um, car enthusiasts seem to fucking love. And he went to just rock up to a Porsche dealership and buy one. And you know you can't just buy a Porsche from a dealership. You have to get on the special list. So if you want a GT3R, a GT3 RS, right? So I think that's what I'm talking about, is it? I think it's a Porsche GT3 RS. Yeah, that's the one, right? If you want a brand new Porsche GT3 RS, you have to have bought different Porsches over the years that then allow you the privilege to buy this Porsche. Like, you can't just buy it. Like, if I have the money to buy it, which is half a million, however much it is to buy this car, I can't just rock up and buy one brand new. I have to be first, have a history of buying Porsches and have a history of buying, and it's not just any Porsche. You have to be able to, you have to buy certain v Porsches of a certain value, and then you can have the ability to go buy a Porsche GT3 RS. So um, that whole scam in the car industry thing is something that a lot of, you know, 
car companies do um so clearly that's something that they would have to break and i think tesla's one of the people that did it where you can just walk into a dealership and kind of buy a, a tesla straight off the fucking showroom but you can't with other companies so i would have been curious to have seen how apple would approach the buying process of a car like where would you have picked it up would you have picked it up at like a you know as specific apple stores would you have gone to like an apple car dealership somewhere could you get delivered to you the next day do you have to wait a week like all those fucking crazy things around the production manufacturing and delivery of cars i would have liked to have seen apple's kind of um you know little flip and little nod at it but i guess we're never going to see it now it continues but the product struggled for nearly from the start with Apple changing the leadership and strategy several times, Lynch and Williams took charge of the undertaking a few years ago, following the departure of Doug Field, now senior executive at Ford Motor Company. Apple, still years away from producing a car, com um, contemplated many different designs. Beyond the look of the vehicle, cracking self-driving technology was a major challenge. That's something I've been surprised is difficult. I'm not going to lie. I've been actually surprised by how difficult it seems to crack for self-driving. Like it just doesn't seem to be a thing that we're any close to really getting like full self-driving like actually shipping and actually being something that gets implemented to the point where then we start having robo taxis no one's really willing to take that risk just yet apple had road tested its service um sorry system since 2017 using a lexus suv exterior putting the dozens of vehicles on the road in the us the company also tested more secretive components on a gigantic track in phoenix that was once owned by chrysler so unfortunately it's gone it's flipping over no more flipping tesla um super a car happening anytime soon most likely you would imagine the apple vision pros played a role in it ai's played a role in it and they're going to put all their chips in there so if you're looking forward for an apple car unfortunately the apple car dream is over unfortunately the apple car dream is over one thing that isn't over talking about electric cars is elon musk announcing courtesy of his twitter that the new tesla roadster is coming next year I'm sure the Tesla designers, the Tesla employees weren't happy with him just randomly dropping the bombshell, but he announced via his Twitter that it's coming. It's flipping coming. And I thought the revelations on his Twitter were really interesting. So he said the other day, um, tonight we radically decreased, sorry, we radically increased the design goals of the new Tesla Roadster. There will be no other car like this if you could even call it a car. There will be no other car like this, if you can even call it a car, right? Fucking um, very big words here. Um, Tesla slash SpaceX collabo. I'm not just sure what that means. Does that mean it's going to fly? Does that mean like, I, I, I don't know. What the fuck does that mean? Does that mean it's light enough to put into, to put into, um you know, to put into fucking, what's it called? To be a part of the, you know, when the fucking rocket goes to fucking Mars. I'm not for looking too sure. Production design complete and unveil end of year aiming to ship it next year i think it has a shot at being the most mind-blowing product demo of all time so i wonder will it will it be able to kind of lift off from like a standing start will it be able to actually fly in the air or something will it be able to go underwater like what the fuck is it going to be able to do will it be able to do it for like a 360 turn like what the fuck is it going to be able to do somebody said here testing targeting a zero to 60 mile time under one second he said the zero to 60 time is going to be one second and that's the least interesting part can it fly a little the eyes so clearly it's going to be a flying thing and it's going to be a, co a collaboration a collaboration between tesla and spacex can you imagine um it can it includes here let's see what it says here it says uh oh wow wow okay so this is an update spacex option package for the new tesla rosa will include 10 small rocket thrusters arranged seamlessly around the car these rocket engines dramatically improve acceleration top speed braking and cornering maybe they'll even allow a tesla to fly 19 years ago when my first company got bought i had to decide between a buying a house in palo alto or a mclaren f1 best car ever in my opinion was no contest i bought the f1 and a small condo that was much cheaper than the car new tesla roadster will exceed all gas sports car in every way so he's been talking really big and boasty about the tesla roadster for a while 2018 and now he said here at the end you will love the new roadster more than your house 
I am so curious to see what this final design of the roaster looks like. I really can't wait to see what that looks like. I'm curious to see how it's going to be a collaboration between SpaceX and fucking Tesla. It's going to be fucking incredible. I cannot wait. So big up Elon. Can't wait to see what that actually ends up looking like. Um, we have no, you know, idea if they're any closer to actually completing it because we've always been given loads of false dawns. So maybe this might be an, another one of them, but we have to flip and wait to see. We'll have to wait and see.